Hey guys. Um, so you know when you're building a website, uh, over time you're going to end up with a lot of CSS and at some point you don't really know whether or not all your CSS still applies to your website. Uh, there might be CSS selectors and CSS rules that you know are no longer valid, they don't no longer apply, and they just become dead code. It can be really difficult to identify dead CSS code. So let's take a look at how Visual Studio 2013 and um, Web Essentials can help us with that. So here I have Firefox on the right and Visual Studio on the left. And we can see here that we have um, Firefox is connected through browser link. So all I need to do is to go in this menu and say start recording. As soon as I do that, we can see that uh, Web Essentials automatically fill up my error list with unused CSS. So this is unused CSS on this particular page. But we said start recording, so that means that it's now listening and we need to move around and click on all our different pages and click on all the buttons and you know basically go through all, uh, all the paths that we can take on our website because that exposes uh, all the different styling. And here we go. These are This is everything on my website that I could possibly click. So I'm just going to say stop recording. And you can see here we end up with a single um, error. So let's just click that and it opens up here in the CSS editor and we get a nice error here saying no usage of this CSS selector. So I can very easily just open the smart tag and say remove unused rule and here we go. So this makes it really easy to find dead CSS rules or selectors. Um, if we want to figure out what about the individual properties of the individual CSS rules then how can we go about that? Let's just go to Firefox here and show the uh, developer tools. And so I'm using Firefox, but this works in every browser that has developer tools like IE and Chrome and Opera and so on. And notice what we have here. So we can see that we have padding top uh, 60 pixels. It has a line through. That means that it not, doesn't apply. Something else overrides this CSS declaration or property. And we see it's inside CSS. So it's this property right here. It's not being used, so we can very we can safely remove it just by clicking the delete icon here. And because I have CSS auto sync um, turned on, we see here that how the F, uh, developer tools in Firefox automatically just changes um, my CSS file here through the power of Visual Studio 2013 browser link and Web Essentials. So this makes it really easy. I can just go through my entire website and uh, find all the dead CSS rules and individual properties using the tools that you already uh, know and like. So I hope that uh, you're going to enjoy this. Thanks for watching.